What's up everyone, it's Victon here with another Minecraft Dungeons Guide. This time we're going to be going over the unique broadsword with everything you need to know from where to get it to what enchants are the best for it. And I'll start off by showing you a clip here of the insane damage you can get with it. So this is in your camp with no strength or crit potion. 103k crit is absolutely insane. Granted that's with the committed enchant, but that basically shows you what it's like for bosses once you've damaged them a bit. You'll never even need close to that damage while running a normal dungeon just fighting normal monsters. In fact, there's better weapons out there uh, than this broadsword that I'd recommend, like the Fighter's Bindings or the Cursed Axe, but this thing is still great to get some super high damage numbers for some fun moments. I sometimes get 206,000 crits while running dungeons, and it's pretty fun just to see those high numbers. Alright, so quickly before we get into it, hit that subscribe button if you do end up enjoying this guide, and check out my channel for other Minecraft Dungeons guides just like this. Okay, so let's get into it. First and foremost, this weapon is a claymore, which means you can either go to the last dungeon, Obsidian Pinnacle, which I actually would not recommend, or you can go to the Secret Mushroom Cow level, which is the best dungeon in the game for farming XP. So you should be running this dungeon a ton anyway. The broadsword can drop here and at least for me has had a pretty high drop rate. I've seen about 10 of them so far, uh, so quite a few. And along with the broadsword, it can also drop the unique claymore, the Heart Stealer, which is another crazy strong unique, and I'll be doing a video for that one very soon, so check back for that one if you're interested. Now the secret cow level does take a bit to unlock. Basically what you have to do is find all 10 runes in each dungeon and can only be done on adventure or apocalypse mode. Once you have all 10 runes, you go to the church and camp and unlock the level. I'll be posting a guide on that here pretty soon, but in the meantime, feel free to check some other YouTube guides on how to unlock it. Once you've unlocked the Mushroom Cow level, the easiest way to get the broadsword is just speed running straight to the boss, which usually takes about just one minute flat, and then kill the boss for the higher unique drop chance, and eventually you'll get it. Cool, so now you know where and how to get the broadsword. Once you've gotten yourself one, here's the tier list for enchant combos you can run with this weapon in my opinion. The best combo being crit, leeching, and echo. And it's a bit different than other weapons because slower weapons, you actually don't want to go with the enchants you normally go with with the faster weapons like thundering or swirling, because you attack too slow and it's really just not worth it. Which is why something like leeching and echo are your go-to here for this slow weapon. Now if you don't get the perfect 3 enchants, take a look at this tier list to see what enchants work best after that. As you can see in the S tier category again we have the crit, leeching, and echo. And for the A tier we have rampaging, looting, radiance, and sharpness. And for the B tier we have exploding and shockwave. Now everything after that goes in the C tier or below and really doesn't make too much of a difference with this weapon, so I would focus on anything in the B tier or above. All in all, this weapon isn't the best for doing normal dungeon runs as I'd recommend others, but it's still fun to get and play around with to see how high you can get some of your crits. With a strength potion, I've seen upwards of 200k crits doing a dungeon, and honestly, that's just kind of fun to see, and it makes the sword kind of a meme and not just fully salvage worthy. So go ahead and try it, even if it's just for a few runs, hopefully you get some perfect enchants and come out with an awesome weapon. Thanks all, that's really all there is to it with this one. These guides are a little bit shorter because there isn't really too much to them, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but if you are interested in more unique weapon or gear videos, do consider subscribing and checking out my other videos. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I will see y'all in the next one.